Nathan, Christmas period coming up, busy time starting at the Valley against Charlton. What are your thoughts ahead of that game? Um, obviously, personally, it'll be it'll be good to go back. You know, see a lot of friends and, and things. Um, but it'll be, you know, we know it'll be a difficult difficult game. I know the work they do there. I know they've obviously gone away today and got a great point away at Bolton. Um, and it'll be uh, you know it'll be a, it'll, it'll be a very very difficult game. Um, pitch will be we testing. I would imagine, especially with the weather it's been. Um, you know, they've had some problems there with that. So. It'll, it'll it'll be a it'll be a hard game, and we you know one we're looking forward to though. Tell us about Chris Powell and the way he sets Charlton up. Well, I wouldn't like to say how how we how we will set up for for, for Boxing Day because you know I, I could have egg on my face, but you know Chris has got a hard working team. He, he he works with them. He's very thorough in his work. Um, he's a great guy, a real you know, close personal friend of mine, and and one I thoroughly enjoyed working for. And you know I want I want Chris to do fantastically well, but. Just not in the games he comes up against us. In terms of the ethos of Charlton, clearly you know a lot about it. You know, a passing side is that sort of behind Charlton Athletic, Nathan? Well, yeah, it, it, it has been. I mean, they put a big emphasis on on young players. They've got a fantastic academy there, as I found out, you know, firsthand myself last year, and a lot of them progress into the first team and stuff. So it's you know, it's a good energetic side that that, that likes to play and. And they, you know they're always difficult to, to to play against, and and you never get an easy game when you go to the valley or when they, you know, when they sort of come away from from it. Um, I know they'll be thorough. I know they'll you know they'll they'll have extra incentive obviously f- for us because um, in, in terms of the proximity of the game of, of the places and so on, it's like a south. You know, there's is that rivalry really, even though it's not a derby as such. There is that that sort of rivalry and things. And I said last year it was obviously two draws, you know, a good draw at the, at the Valley, and then and then here was, you know, a nil nil. But it was an entertaining nil nil, and uh, you know there was some good battles. So we know it'll be a fantastic, you know, a fantastic challenge for us. But it's it's one we're looking forward to, especially the form we're in. And as you say, it's a club who, who seem to nurture youth as well and bring it through. Is it, and that's in this day and age, you know, clubs spending lots of money. Is that quite refreshing, Nathan? Yeah, but I mean, I, I knew that before I went. I mean, they're, they're, they're a fantastic, fantastic academy there. They really do, and they have for years and years, and that's been continued. Paul Hart's obviously gone there now and does fantastic work. You know, fantastic work with with the young lads. They got a conveyor belt really. Um, of, of youngsters, we obviously with the young side we had last year, we did you know did very very well, and a lot of them have progressed into the first team. You know, people like um, you know Jordan Cousins who's playing regularly there now, Joe Piggott, Nick Pope, um, Callum Harriet, even the likes of the others have gone out on loan. Is a fantastic, you know, academy that, uh, that I convey about, and they do great work there, and it's a fantastic club to work for. It really is, and. As I said, it'll be it'll be a difficult game, but but you know when we're looking forward to. What's the training regime going to be between now and, and going to the Valley, Nathan? Well, we'll we'll, we'll recover and, and and things. We'll um, but we'll be professional. We'll do a normal training regime. You know, in terms of in terms of it being Christmas time, is we might change training in terms of an hour or so here or there to allow people you know, time with families. But you know, we'll be preparing as as, as normal. Um, Christmas Day, we'll be in a hotel. We'll be training here. We'll be in a hotel and. It'll be, you know, it'll be exactly the same preparation. Nothing changes. And I said, the longer you are in football, Christmas is a special time for everyone. It really is. But nothing really changes for a footballer over Christmas, if, you, if I'm brutally honest. How important is the, is the squad now over this next couple of weeks with the amount of games that there are to be played? Well, it's vital because you know we've got vital tough competition and the people that come in and and one they want to stake their claim, two they want to you know continue the run that we're on and and and, and add to the squad and so on and you know it's, it's at times it's about keeping people happy but you know the competition we have at the minute the level and and the ability levels we have and we're very pleased with and as I said we're we're not far off from having almost everyone back and um, some are ahead of his schedule some are, are not quite getting there yet. Um, but you know we're not far off having a, having a full competitive squad. I was going to say, what, what's the situation with, with, with Gordon Greer and, and Andre Orlandi? I mean they're close. Um, Andrea Andrea's trained, but obviously it's too close for him to be in the side um, on you know today and things. So it's it's been frustrating time for him. But we don't want to you know we don't want to push him unnecessarily and, and and have setbacks and so on. So we've had to sort of handle him you know, handle him well. Um, Gordon, um, obviously, he's a little calf, and again, we don't want to push, push him because you know the competition we have at centre half is very good with with Adam, who's come in and done fantastically well, um, and so obviously we've got Lewis Dunk as well, who's you know who, who's there. So even though Gordon's vitally important to us, it, it, it's, he's, he's, 
it's no point pushing him at this stage because I said there's still 25 games left plus you know plus cup games so we've you know, got a long 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 season ahead.